good morning students this is class 10th science the name of the lesson is light reflection and refraction light reflection and refraction in a previous classes we have studied about light as a source of energy we know that sun is the natural source of light sun is the natural source of light it is the sunlight that is illuminating the world we also know about luminous and non luminous objects what are luminous objects objects which emit yeah which have light of their own like sun fire stars they are all called luminous objects and what are non luminous objects objects which do not emit their own light yeah which do not have light of their own such as wood stone plastic etc are non luminous object we also know about transparent translucent and opaque materials we also know about uh, the property of light that light travels in a straight path the property of light rectilinear propagation of light we have studied property of light to travel in straight line is known as rectilinear property of light today we'll study about reflection of light what is reflection the bouncing back of light from the surface of a material the bouncing back of light from the surface of a material is termed as reflection of light we know that a rubber ball bounces back when it is thrown on the floor or a wall if we uh, throw a rubber ball on the wall it will bounce back it will come again towards us similarly polished surfaces bounce back light which is incident on them polished surfaces bounce back light which is incident on them so the bouncing back of light from the surface of a material is known as reflection of light there are two laws of reflection there are two laws of reflection the first law states that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal all lie in the plane same plane at the point of incidence see you can see in the diagram see this is the incident ray yeah. a ray a ao is the incident ray ob is the reflected ray this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray and the normal and c is the normal they all lie in the same plane at the point of incidence see this is the point of incidence and they are all in the same plane this is angle i that is angle of incidence this is angle r that is angle of reflection the ang uh, incident ray is making an angle with the normal and this angle is known as an angle of incidence and the this reflected ray is making an angle with the normal and this is known as angle of reflection so this is the incident ray reflected ray and normal all lie in the same plane this is the first law of reflection then the second law of reflection states that angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection that is angle i is always equal to angle r c if suppose angle of incidence is 30 degrees suppose this ray of light is striking at the surface making an angle of 30 degrees then the reflected ray will also make an angle of 30 degrees angle i is 30 then angle r will also be 30 in the same way angle i is of 50 degrees angle r will be 50 degrees so this is the second law of reflection this is the second law of reflection so you know you have learnt about two laws of reflection angle uh, i is equal to angle r and incident ray reflected ray and normal all lie in the same plane we'll continue in the next class reflection of light by plane mirror we'll continue in the next class thank you and have a nice day